I see this person in front of you have a hand injury. You know, I would like to make a video of you and put it up on the screen sometimes, because sometimes I look out at the audience and there'll be like people like in the front row and I'll finish the song and they'll be like, yes. <laughs> and I'm like, I can see you. <laughs> you have what appears to be like a broken arm. <laughs> this is the first fun thing you've done since you broke your arm. And she's like, <laughs> crazy how you can just really hurt yourself by just falling. <laughs> how old are you, do you mind me asking? 33. I, uh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm curious mainly because I'm about to make it about me. Sorry, it's going to be You've been listening since Business Mark? That's so sweet. You did? It's Pittsburgh. I love Pittsburgh. That's so cool. Well, thank you for being here, you have your broken arm. I was going to tell you that I uh, recently, I have like, one of my like, rib, this is the like, ribs, they go all the way, I didn't know this until recently, maybe your ribs go all the way up here into your neck, I didn't know that. Um, but there's one that always goes out on me, and I'm constantly, like I'll just like, I was trying on a bathing suit recently, and like, threw my fucking neck out, which I can't believe anything worse than trying on bathing suits, than hurting yourself while trying on bathing suits. So that's, but there's maybe like one other worse thing. So it's like bathing suits, trying on bathing suits, hurting yourself, and then like trying on a bathing suit, and then someone walks in while you're doing that shimmy while it's like stuck on your legs. Like that's pretty much it. I think the like, worst things that can happen to you. With one hand, I can't even imagine. But um, like I've literally done everything you can possibly imagine with another human being with my girlfriend of seven years, but she's never seen me put on or off my bathing suit. No, you don't want to see. You don't want to see. Like she can look at me doing anything. <laughs> Anything you can imagine, basically. Like, that's how I hurt my I would literally hang myself upside down by my ankles, which I've never done, but I would let her see that, but I will never let her watch me try to put on my bathing suit. Well, I learned the lesson because, like, the bathing suit, like, I was getting hit a bathing suit. What? No, I just, I fucking hate them. No, I know. So I really hurt myself in July. I ordered a bunch of bathing suits online because I didn't want to have to go to a store to try them on. Because remember, top of the list is like someone walking in on you and trying to bathing suit. So I got all these bathing suits and I... Also, can I just say one other thing? Can I just say one other thing about why we don't like to try bathing suits on in public? Because people who assist other people in bathing suit purchase are always the kind of people... Like, it's not like going and trying on jeans at H&M where they just like, you, you're dead to them. Like, you would literally die <laughs> and rot in one of those dressing rooms and no one will find you. Drag you out. But as soon as you have a bathing suit, it's like... Can I see? Look at it. Maybe it's not the right size. Knock, knock. Do you need any help? Let's fuck off already. Just leave me alone. Okay, agreed. So there I was at home alone with no one there. And I don't want to label all queer and lesbian people as being the kinds that wear a sports bra type bathing suit, but like. People that I know that identify that way don't put those ones that everyone else wears where it's like padding and popping up and huge bum cleavage and like just like shit like just like it's crazy like the ties are like, yeah so I every time I would take it off I'd have to like be like <laughs> trying to get out of the thing anyway it fucking hurt my neck really bad <laughs> So I went to, like I heard it so bad and I was, we were going to the studio for a couple days to record this song and I like was a mess and then I was going on vacation, and the bathing suits, I wasn't just like hanging out trying to bathing suits for no reason. <laughs> so I fucking go on the vacation, which actually was great, you know, hot tubs and pools and relaxing and alcohol, it was like, I thought really good for my neck, thanks. And, um, <laughs> So I thought I was better. I mean, I know something's wrong if you bend over to put a bathing suit on and your neck goes out, but I was like, put it off until we're done touring and didn't think about it. And then I got back from vacation, did a few shows, and then one night I just had a bad sleep and was tossing and turning and like threw my neck out. Like, like moving in bed, if you can believe it. And it was just laying there, like, I thought paralyzed. I was like, oh my God, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> but I was also like really tired, so I just fell back asleep. And, um, I woke up out of a dead sleep like an hour later and I was soaked, like my clothes were soaked, I was in so much pain. 
And I asked my girlfriend to help me get out of bed, and I woke her up in a terror. Like, I was like, I think I've really injured myself, I can't move. And she was like, okay, let me help you get up. She helped me get out of bed, and she went to turn the lights on, and she said she looked over, and I remember just like kind of walking out into the living room. <laughs> and then the next thing I remember is her over top of me, holding my chest, crying, and was on the phone with 911. <laughs> And she was saying, you have to stop moving, stop moving, you have to stop moving. And I was laying on our cement floor as we, I, like, at that moment, I was like, fuck, I wish we had carpet. But, <laughs> but I was, like, laying on the floor, and it all came back to me. And I don't know how many, how many of you have ever fainted before? Right, there's, like, a euphoria that kind of comes when you wake up from the faint. It's like you've been sleeping for, like, two to three weeks, and... <laughs> It's like the community. Like, yeah, it's amazing. You come out of it and you're just like, it's crazy. And um, so basically, I guess I just like walked out of the living room and all of a sudden just was like, and, like <laughs> fell straight backwards and my head bounced off the floor. Yeah. But apparently I'm like the strongest fucking head in the world. <laughs> I mean, it really hurt. I ended up like the paramedics came over, which I'm just going to be completely honest now and tell the story. I actually didn't need to tell this whole story, but now I'm going to just let you come in. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I can't end it now. I gotta just like, tell right game, I can't tell it. So, um, so I'm laying on the floor and, and slept with the parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. But you said it. Like, I just, I'm in it. So no, I just, like, like, now it's like, I'm like halfway through the story, so I'm just gonna, do you mind? Are you like upset? Like, so anyway, I basically like come to and like, there's a lot of details in the story and I want to apologize, I just won't speak the rest of the show. But like, have you ever seen that like show called The Staircase about the guy who's like, can't tell you how, okay, enough people, that's good enough for me. <laughs> but when I came to, I was like trying to get up and everyone was like, stop, 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 you felt really your head, you like seizure, it was terrifying, stop, I'm on the phone. And then she went back to the call and I was like, holy shit, this is really happening. Fuck. Like, I'm about to have to like, you know, so I'm laying there and for people who've seen the staircase, you'll think this is funny, but she was like, Hello, my girlfriend, she fell! She hurt herself really badly! And I was like, holy shit, we're the staircase. If I die, my girlfriend might go to jail. <laughs> anyway, I was laying there, they, she was like, okay, the paramedics are coming, they're a few minutes away, and I was laying on the floor, and all I could think about was, do we have enough time for me to put a bra on? <laughs> I'm like laying on the floor in like a bedroom top, like it's not a lot of coverage and I was just like, now worse than the bathing suits, worse than injuring yourself, putting on a bathing suit, and worse than fainting and hitting your head on cement floor was like four giant, pretty attractive paramedic men coming into the apartment and I was like, what's up? <laughs> There's hardly any sleeves on this shirt. Anyway, I spent the day at the hospital, everything was fine, but I realized how fucking easy it is to like get like seriously, I've had like whiplash and I've made meds and like, chiropractors and acupuncture and massage and like, and honestly I looked at Tim right before he came on stage and I was like, ah, I think I hurt my neck, I'm just looking over at him. <laughs> So this next song is for all the young people in the house. <laughs> 